Hi everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Charmaine and I like to talk about books, unbox subscription boxes, and generally just have a good time. So if you're in for any of that, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and doing all of that fun stuff that we like to do here on YouTube. And today I was tagged in a book tag! This is my first, like, I got tagged by somebody else one. I'm so excited. So Lucretia from Books and Chill tagged me in this book tag. And it's like a, oh man, I forgot to figure out what the title is. I'm going to have to put that in the description box below. So yeah, um, there's a couple of questions here. I'm going to answer them for you guys. And then I'm so excited. I love book tags, actually. That's like one of my favorite things about booktube. So I'm super pumped to get this going. Okay, so I wrote them all down here. So that's what I'm looking at, just so you guys know. The first one is, do you follow any book lists? So I don't actually follow any book lists right now, but I just did get recommended a booktuber named Rachel Fryman. I wrote it down by one of my subscribers, Carrie. So thank you, Carrie, which I mentioned that twice now because like, honestly, I'm super excited. Rachel is amazing, but she's doing a Golden Girls like book list. So every month you pick something off of this book list that goes along with that theme. So I'm really excited about it. I haven't actually like written down the list yet, but I will be doing that because I will be filming that today as well. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try that book list because Corey, our, my boyfriend, Corey and I just like finished watching the Golden Girls. Like we just finished the rewatch in November and then we started rewatching it again because it's a really good show to watch before I go to work because it's like, it's funny and it's like light because you can't really watch like a heavy show and then go to work all day because that's not great. Yeah, so I like to watch it in the morning before work. So I'm super excited to be doing that book list. So I haven't started it yet, but I will be in February. So I will let you guys know about it before February. Yeah. Um, the next one is how many books do you own? So you guys can see the bookshelves behind me. There's like quite a lot on there and there's bookshelves all on that side of the room as well. I'm going to go with like a thousand. That's like a ballpark. I'm kind of like looking around at them and I don't really want to count. Plus, if I say it, my boyfriend's gonna know how many I own. I mean, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I probably don't need to buy anymore. But a new one always comes out and they're always different and I love them and it's gonna happen anyway. I don't know. Yeah, let's go with a thousand. It's probably more than that. But <laughs> I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, the, the third question is, how many books have you read in your life and do you keep track? So I have read a lot, a lot of books because I have always been a reader. Like my mom used to read to me like when I was like a little, little kid. I remember her reading me like books and stuff like that before bed. And then once I started being able to read on my own, I know that we went to the library and we would get books and like, or I would get like books through school and stuff like that. And I would like read them all the time. Like I spent a lot, a lot of time at my like main city library a lot a lot of time I I don't know I think I was there like once a month when I was like a kid kind of thing and like would just go and read as much as I could because I love reading reading to me is like like when I'm reading a book I'm not like really reading the words it like turns into a movie in my mind which is fantastic I have like a very good imagination thankfully that's also because I read books and like shout out to my mom for doing that when I was younger because definitely reading and collecting books, two different very, very hobbies, two very different hobbies was what I was going for there. Um, yeah, I'm a huge, huge fan. All of that. I love reading. So no, I do not know how many books I have read in my entire life. And I have started keeping track recently because I did get the... Oh man, it's by the Little Inklings Designs. She does the It's Always Fully Booked um, planner and she did like a novel companion planner that I've been having for a couple of years so I do write down when I'm reading in there. I have not been doing great on reading but because of the channel I've actually do been doing a million times better so shout out to you guys for being here and listening to my book stuff because you guys are helping me read more which I really appreciate. So woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Uh, question number four is what is your favorite flavor or food? So my favorite flavor is vanilla. I'm pretty basic that way. And my favorite food I think is sandwiches. I really, really love sandwiches. Uh, I love any kind of sandwiches. I like making, like I make really good sandwiches. I love sandwiches. So does my boyfriend, thankfully. So that works out because, you know, we eat a lot of sandwiches. <laughs> uh, number five is, have you ever read books that are over 100 or 1001 pages? I don't know. I'm not sure. Like, I do have a lot of very thick books, but I don't know how many pages there was in them. I didn't even try and look it up to see. 
like what kind of page count I had on some of the books that I read because I don't know that just didn't seem like something that I would be I don't really go by book page count maybe I should they do have like in the always fully booked planner she does have like a thing where you can write down like how many pages you've read that just like never occurred to me to like keep track of that kind of thing I don't know maybe I'll have to look into keeping track of that uh for six it's have you ever read stories from Arabian Nights and do you have a favorite one and I have not read stories from that and I don't 100% know what that is like it it must be like a collection of stories because you would have to have a favorite one out of it. I'm gonna have to look into it because Lucretia was talking about it because like she did this book tag before me and the way that she was talking it does sound actually really interesting so I might have to look into it and I think it's kind of like a classic. Let me know in the description if you know or in the chat if you guys know if it's a classic or not because I don't actually know if it's a classic but I think now that I'm talking about it I think it is a classic and I do like classic books so I'm gonna have to look into that. Number seven is name one thing on your non-bookish bucket list. So I don't, oh man, I like to try a new recipe all the time. I like to cook. So I, one of my goals for this year is to try like to get a little bit healthier and do like healthier recipes. So I think for like my non-bookish stuff is to like cook healthier recipes and figure out new recipes because I like to cook. My boyfriend likes to eat. It's a Good combination like and I like to make a lot of weird stuff that we never tried before like I just recently made this um southwest chicken where you use like corn and black beans and like this spicy little green like they're not jalapenos but they're like kind of like jala pickled jalapenos and you put like a little bit of cheese and you bake it it's amazing it's so good so like yeah I think trying new recipes is like my non-bookish bucket list thing uh, number eight is favorite genre or author I love YA fantasy sci-fi books uh, that's my thing right now. I used to be into like, um, what would you call them? Like Philippa Gregory. She would do like Anne Boleyn books. So historical romance. That's the thing. I used to be into that. I used to be into Stephen King before that and Anne Rice. And I used to be into like Nora Roberts where it was like fantasy and like adult like romance and like a lot of like sexy stuff and stuff like that. So I don't know, my moods kind of change. And I think that that happens with everybody who reads. Like I don't 100% know for sure, but I do like the fact that I have like eclectic, is that the right word? Eclectic tastes in books. So now sometimes I just buy a book because I like the pretty cover. And sometimes I buy a book because I heard about it on a booktube channel and it sounded like a good thing. Like, I don't know. My tastes are kind of all over the place. Let me know. Like, what do you guys read? Are you Do you guys stick to like one thing? Like, I, I don't read a lot of contemporary ones. I can say that for a fact. Um, I do once in a while. I'm like, okay, I can have a good contemporary story. But I mean, I'm kind of like living my contemporary life. So I like the stuff that has like fantasy or historical stuff or like magic and you know, that kind of thing a little bit more than contemporary books. I do. I, I read a couple of mystery like kind of scary ones in October for like spooky reads. And I kind of like those. So I might have to get back into that a little bit. I don't know that little like heart palpitation thing that happens when you're reading a book and it's a little bit scary. That's good stuff. <laughs> Okay, and the last question here is, what's your favorite act outdoor activity? And this is funny because my favorite act outdoor activity is sitting on my patio with a coffee reading a book. So yeah, that's like my actual favorite outdoor activity. My parents bought me a bike like for my birthday a couple of years ago. So I went bike riding a couple of times and that's been fun. I had not been on a bike in a long time. So learning how to re-ride a bike when you're like 43, 41 was like, okay, <laughs> It's not as easy as riding a bike. I'm just gonna point that out. <laughs> and I think like I've been wanting to go for a picnic for a while with like my best friends and my boyfriend and like go and have a picnic in the park because we do live like a around a lot of parks and I live like really close to my best friends so they also live around a lot of parks and I think that would be fun. Yeah I don't know. Honestly sitting with a coffee on my veranda and like reading a book is my favorite outdoor activity. So it kind of fits in with my channel and it kind of fits in with like this questionnaire. Yeah. So you are supposed to tag some like bookish people, but I don't really know a whole bunch, but I am going to tag um, Rachel Fryman because she's new to me. And so I'm going to tag her. And then I'm going to tag Rosica at the Midnight Reader because I don't think that she's done this one. So yeah. 
please let me know what you guys think. Chat in the comments. You guys know I love that. And please like this video if you did. And thank you so much for spending a couple of minutes of your day with me today. I really, really appreciate you guys. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.